If you look at social media for fitness, you've probably heard of 12-3-30. This short video will tell you exactly how to do it, how to make it work for any fitness level, and how to improve your fitness in the shortest possible time. Incline treadmill walking can help you quickly improve your fitness with the least wear and tear on your body. 12-3-30 stands for 12 degree incline, three miles an hour for 30 minutes. It's basically walking uphill on a treadmill and the idea is to do it for as many days as possible. The thing is, everyone is different. You don't have to be at three miles an hour at a 12 degree incline to make this work for you. Really, walking uphill on a treadmill is an excellent activity for anyone because you are increasing your cardiac output over a long period of time and doing it on a frequent basis. The problem with walking on level ground is that for many of us, it is just not intense enough to result in change in our bodies. Once you can walk for 30 minutes without stopping or feeling tired, it stops being something that will really improve your fitness. It can maintain it. But for many people, running is just too intense for our cardiac level and it's impossible due to knee and hip problems. So many people don't realize that walking uphill is the perfect way to increase their fitness with less negative effects. Treadmill walking is ideal because it's so easy to adjust the speed and incline to meet your level of fitness right now. Before we go any further, always consult your doctor before starting a new exercise program. So why is this more effective than walking on level ground and running? There's many reasons. First of all, the incline reduces the time you need to do the exercise. The incline greatly increases the cardiovascular demand, meaning you get more benefit over a shorter period of time. It's also much lower impact. The impact on your joints is much less than running or walking fast on level ground. Many studies have shown that uphill treadmill walking results in much less impact and wear on the knees, hips, and ankles than running at the same cardiac level. You have to run at five miles an hour to get the same cardiac benefit as walking at a 12 degree incline at three miles an hour. The slower speed means less steps and walking means much less impact on the joints. Hands down, walking is superior to running for wear and tear. Higher frequency. Because it's less taxing on your muscles and joints, you can do it more often, giving you a greater fitness benefit. The more times per week that you do cardiac exercise, the better the results. Much faster gains. Studies have shown that your body will improve fitness faster with a moderate aerobic activity done more often than an intense one. Treadmill walking is also much easier to adjust. You can easily change the incline and elevation on a treadmill to match your fitness level. With walking or running, you have to run or walk faster, which is more difficult to maintain. This type of treadmill training is beneficial because unlike walking in the hills, there is no walking downhill. While you are walking downhill, your cardiac demand decreases, lowering the benefit of the exercise. So you have to exercise for longer to get the same benefit. On a treadmill, it is inclined the entire time, so you are always walking uphill and getting the full benefit. So how do you find the right speed and elevation to set the treadmill? First, always consult a doctor before starting a new exercise program. Before you use the treadmill at all, you need to be able to walk on level ground for 30 minutes without difficulty. If you can't do that, then I would suggest working on that and bringing your ability and your speed up until you can walk for 30 minutes without stopping. Then you're ready for the treadmill. We're gonna use what's known as a talking test. We want to find an incline and in speed where you have difficulty saying five words in a row without taking a breath, but not so hard that you can't even say two words. If you only have to take a breath at the fourth or fifth word, you're at the right level. I use the words, Yankee Doodle went to town. So if I am able to say Yankee Doodle went to town without taking a breath, I probably need to increase the speed or the incline. Once I get to the point where I can say Yankee Doodle went to town and I have to take a breath, I'm at just the right level. Now we're gonna start on the treadmill. Set the treadmill to 2.0 miles per hour without an incline. Walk for three minutes and see if you can take the talking test and not be breathless. If you're able to do all five words without taking a breath, start to increase the speed and try to aim for 2.5 miles per hour. If it's too difficult at two miles an hour, you can decrease the speed to one or 1.5 miles per hour, depending on the treadmill. 
Once you determine what speed you can walk at without becoming breathless, you're ready to start increasing the elevation. You can try increasing the elevation to five degrees and walk for three minutes. Test your breathless level again. If you're not breathless, you can keep increasing the elevation until you get to a level where you're beginning to have difficulty talking more than four to five words without taking a breath. For many people, this will be between eight and 15 degrees between two and 2.5 miles per hour. But it's fine if you start out with a lower incline. Even a two or three degree incline is a great starting place. Some of you might find that you have to start at two miles an hour at a five degree incline because you're beginning to feel breathless. Others might be at a 10 degree incline at 2.7 miles per hour. It really doesn't matter what level you start out at. The key is to finding a level where you're beginning to feel breathless and then maintain that for 30 minutes. You might find the first few times that you do this that you only have to adjust the level a few times during the first 30 minutes. That's fine. But ideally, you should find a level you can stay at for the full 30 minutes because there is another important aspect to this type of training, consistency. This type of training is only effective when you do it on a regular basis, ideally five to seven times a week. The whole point of this type of training is that because it's less taxing and less wearing on your body, you can have an easier time of doing it daily. So with this exercise, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You want to find a level that you feel you're exerting yourself, but not so much that you can't do it again the next day. Really, there is no better way to improve your cardiac fitness or lose weight than incline treadmill walking. There are countless stories of people losing weight and getting in shape in just a couple of months with this activity. If you compare this to walking outside for hours or running and the risk of injury, you'll find that this is the best way to increase your fitness level over time. Most people that try this find they can keep doing it for years. Incline treadmill walking might just be the perfect exercise. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to access my full training course, click the link below in the description.